Hello guys, today we will solve the IITM qualifier exams week 3 uh, graded statistics assignment. So in this question it says that uh, the numbers 1, 6, 10, 14 have frequencies x plus 6, x plus 2, x minus 3 and x. If their uh, mean is 6.15, find the value of x. Okay. So first we uh, draw the table number and frequencies. So 1, 6, 10 and 14 and frequencies will be x plus 6, x plus 2, x minus 3 and x. Okay. So first we will find uh, the sum of the observations. Okay, so sum of observation will be x plus 6 plus 6 into x plus 2 plus 10 into x plus 3 plus 14x. So it will be 31x minus 12. After that, uh, we will find the number of observation. Number of observation. That will be x plus 6 plus x plus 2 plus x minus 3 plus x. And that is uh, 4x plus 5. Okay. And uh, in the question, it uh, it is given that uh, the mean is uh, 6.15. Mean equals to 6.15. So we know that mean equals to uh, sum of uh, all observation by number of observation. So then uh, it will be 31 uh, x uh, minus 12 by 4 x plus 5. So minus 12 by 4x plus 5 equals to 6.15 if we solve this equation then we get the value of x will be 6.67 okay but in the question it says that enter the value of as uh, next highest integer so the next highest integer of uh, 6.67 is uh, 7 so the answer is 7. In this question, uh, it says that the mean and sample standard deviation of the data set consisting of 7 observation is 19 and 8 respectively. Later, it is uh, noted that one observation 17 is wrongly noted as 40. What is the mean of the original data set? Okay. So the number of observation uh, n equals to 7 and mean equals to uh, 19 but this mean is incorrect because uh, it already says that uh, uh, later it is noted that one observation 17 is wrongly noted at 14 so uh, this mean is uh, let's take this mean as incorrect mean okay correct mean okay so incorrect mean um, equals to uh, sum of all observation by total observation n but uh, this also the incorrect observation so let's take it the incorrect observation x okay so let's find this x 19 equals to x and the total number of observation is 7 so x equals to 1 3 3 but uh, we uh, but uh, in the question it says that uh, one observation 17 is wrongly noted as 14 we have to minus 14 from this 1 3 3 and uh, add this uh, observation plus 17 so then the new sum of all observation will be
will be uh, 133 minus 14 plus 17 that will be 136 okay therefore therefore uh, the mean of the original data set will be 136 divided by 7 that will be 19.43 and this is the answer 19.43 this is the third question and in this question we have to find uh, the sample variance of the original data set okay so uh, number of observation n equals to 7 mean equals to 19 and sample standard deviation ssd equals to 8 we have to know the formula of uh, sample variance so the formula is uh, x square equals to summation of xi whole square by n minus 1 minus summation of xi whole square by n into n minus 1 the sample standard deviation will be ssd will be root over of this okay n minus 1 summation of xi whole square by n into n minus 1 from the previous uh, questions uh, we know that summation of xi equals to 1 3 3 okay and uh, n equals to 7 so and ssd equals to 8 so we have to find the summation of xi square okay so we put this value in this equation that is 8 equals to summation of xi square by 7 minus 1 minus 133 whole square 7 into 6 if we solve this equation then uh, we'll find the value of xi whole square equals to 2911.02 okay but in the question it says that uh, it is uh, one observation 17 is wrongly noted as 14 so we have to uh, minus uh, this uh, 14 uh, square and add this 17 square then uh, the answer will be 2911.02 minus 14 square plus 17 square and the answer is 3004.02 okay so the new uh, new sample variance will be three zero zero four point zero two by seven minus one one three six by two 7 into 6 this uh, uh, 136 uh, comes from the previous questions because the this is the new sum of all observations so from the previous question so we find this value okay so the answer will be 60.29 so the correct answer is 60.29 in this question uh, we have to find uh, what will be the sample variance of the retail prices okay so first we draw the table retail prices let's take it x i okay 
and 47. We know the formula of uh, sample variance and that is s square equals to summation of xi square by n minus 1 minus summation of xi whole square by n into n minus 1 okay now we put the value in this formula now we find uh, the value of xi square okay so summation of xi square will be 97 square plus 64 square plus 62 square plus 71 square plus 47 square and uh, that is 24599 okay now we find the summation of xi whole square okay summation of xi whole square and uh, that is 97 plus 64 plus 62 plus 71 plus 47 whole square and that will be uh, 3 4 1 whole square equals to 1 1 6 2 8 1 okay now we put this value in this equation okay so xi square summation of xi square it is 2 4 5 9 9 by and uh, the uh, in this question n is equals to 5 okay so 5 minus 1 minus 3 4 1 whole square by 5 into 4 and the value is 3 3 5 point 7 zero so the answer is three three five point seven zero in this question we have to find the 10th 50th and uh, 100 percentiles uh, in this question the number of observation is 5 so n equals to 5 and uh, if we uh, arrange this data in ascending order then the ascending order data will be 21, 29, 40, 42, and 115. Okay. So first we find the 10th percentile. 10th percentile. Okay. So here P equals to 0 0.1. So NP equals to 0 0.1 into 5. That is 0 0.5 and that indicates the first term okay so the first term is 21 14th percentile now find the 50th percentile okay p equals to 0 0.5 np equals to 0 0.5 into 5 that is 2.5 so this indicate the third term of the data the third term is 40 so this is 40 and 100 percentiles uh, indicates the largest value in the data set so the largest value is 115 so this is the 100 percentile so the first option is correct 21 40 and 115 in this question, we have to calculate the interquartile uh, range of the data. Okay, so this is the data set. So this is the data set. If we arrange this uh, data set in the ascending order, then it will be 29, 30, 35, 48, and 99. We know the formula of the interquartile range, and that is IQR equals to q3 minus q1 where q3 equals to 75 percentile and q1 equals to 25th percentile 
okay so now we have to find the 75th percentile so if we find uh, 75th percentile of this data set then p equals to 0 0.75 and n equals to 5 because we have five uh, we have five observations so 3.75 that indicates the fourth term and that is 48 okay so q3 equals to 48 now we find the q1 25th percentile in 25th percentile p equals to 0 0.25 n equals to 5 n p equals to 5.25 okay 1.25 that indicates the second term of the data set the second term of the data set is 30 so the value of interquartile range will be 18 this is the answer 18 in this question uh, we have to find uh, the outliers of this data set okay uh, if any data is smaller than uh, q1 minus 1.5 iq then that data will be called uh, outliers okay and uh, if any data is larger than q3 plus 1.5 into iqr then that data will be called also the outliers okay so where q1 equals to 25th percentile and uh, q3 equals to 75th percentile okay so first we arrange this uh, data in the ascending order that is 29 30 35 48 99 okay so let's find the q1 that is 25th percentile that's mean p equals to 0.25 and n equals to 5 that will be 1.25 that is the second term that is 30 okay and q3 will be p is 0.75 into n is 5 that is so 0.75 into m equals to 3.75 that is the fourth term so the fourth term is 48 okay so the value of iqr is equals to 48 minus 30 equals to 18 okay now put this value in this two equation so q1 minus 1.5 iq1 equals to q1 30 minus 1.5 iq18 so uh, so the value is uh, 3 now we find the next value that is uh, q3 1 plus 1.5 iq and that is uh, 48 plus 1.5 into 18 and that is 75 okay so no value is uh, lesser than 3 okay and only one value that is 99 is greater than 75 okay so there are only one outliers so 99 is the outliers so there are only one out here so this option is correct in this question uh, it says that in a deck there are cards numbered uh, 1 to 40 such that the number of cards of a particular number in the deck is uh, same as the number on the card 
which of the following statement uh, is or or correct true uh, about uh, the mean and mode of the numbers on the on this deck of card so first uh, we draw the table and that is so card number 1 2 3 4 dot 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 there are 40 cards and each cards uh, have the frequencies 1 2 3 4 40 dot, dot, dot. okay uh we take uh, 1 2 3 4 2 40 because uh, in the question it also says that uh, the number of cards of a particular number in the deck is same as the number on the card okay so that's why we uh, for uh, card number 1 the frequency is 1 for card number 2 the frequency is 2 so now calculate if i x i for each uh, observation and that is 1 square 2 square 3 square Four square, hundred, forty square. Okay. So we know that mean equals to summation of a phi x i by summation of a phi. Okay. Now find the value of summation of a phi x i, and that will be one square, two square, dot dot dot. Plus forty square by one plus two plus three dot 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 forty into forty plus one into two into forty that is eighty plus one that is eighty one okay by six divided by one plus two plus three dot 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 forty and we know the formula of uh, summation. of first n numbers is and that is n into n plus 1 by 2 and that will be 40 into 41 by 2 so mean will be 22140 divided by 820 equals to 27 so this is the correct option and uh, the highest frequency of the data set uh, will consider that as a, a mo mode so the mode will be 40 and that is this option is also correct in this question we have to find uh, the interquartile range and we know that iq or equals to q3 minus q1 where q3 uh, represent as 70th percentile and q1 is 25th percentile in this data set there are total uh, 13 observation uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so now find the value of q3 that is p equals to 0.75 and n equals to 13 uh, that is uh, 9.75 that is the 10th term and the 10th term is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 that is uh, 69 okay now find the value of q1 uh, p equals to 0.25 and n equals to 13 so 3.25 so it's the fourth term the fourth term will be 1 2 3 4 55 okay 55 so q1 is 55 69 minus 55 that is 14 so 14.0 is the correct option in this uh, questions we have to find uh, the median rating okay so in this data sets uh, n equals to 13 because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so then the median will be 
because 13 is the odd number so median will be 13 plus 1 by 2 that is the seventh term that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is 64 okay if four points are added to all of his ratings then converted to 40 points okay if we add four points uh, to all of these uh, ratings then the new median will be 64 plus 4 that is 68 and then converted to 40 points then the new median rating will be 68 divided by 100 into 40 that will be 27.20 27.20 this is the correct answer